We're gonna make a fortune on fish today. Get in the boat, get in the boat. Get in the boat. The boat's already full. We're gonna need a bigger boat, but there is 10 fish for a few dollars. But that means we can upgrade our cargo capacity. Then I'm gonna increase my fishing power so we can hopefully catch bigger, badder fish. This is already much quicker, and there's yellow fish on the outside. I should probably get those instead, but I see fish, I must put them in the boat. 19 fish. There's the value of fish. We need to find the blue ones. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. I will settle for yellows for now. Wow, they take a long time to catch. Plus they're constantly running away from me which is super fun. Why does everything I want to sell run away from me? There's nine yellow fish. This takes way too long. I'm going back to the red fish after this. 16 hours later we have 19 yellow fish on board. But was it worth it? Yeah we actually made a lot of money there. So let's buy a bigger fishing area, more fishing power, and maybe boat speed and also cargo capacity. Okay, the red fish we catch almost instantly now. I didn't even see that one before we threw it on board. Yellow fish are definitely quicker, not overly so. But I've got time if you guys do. I've got unlimited coffee. I'm an adult. So if you guys just want to hang out here while I systematically throw you into my boat, that would be fine. I don't know why that arrow is telling me to crash into the rocks, but I mean, I don't make the rules. What is that thing? Give me that. Ooh, what are you? We're going to catch a unicorn. Get in the boat. I don't know why, but I have a unicorn on board now. So we're just going to take that for a little boat ride before um, going in to sell it for presumably millions of dollars. All right, the value of these is probably lots. The unicorn went in there. I don't know what it was worth individually, but we have $150. That's true. So we're going to buy some land and now we have an extra fisherman in the boat. I didn't know that was a thing. Do we get more fishermen for this? I don't want to give people places to sit. I want more fishing power. So let's take more literally fishing power then maybe more boat speed. This way we can just charge into groups of fish now. We got two lines out, so we're gonna catch them next. Ooh, green fish. Get in the boat. Wow, these are really hard to catch. I upgraded my fishing power too, and they're this slow. But that means I gotta be valuable. I'm at least modestly sure that's how that works. But I have been wrong before. It's probably been documented in one of my videos. I suspect when a fish are this slow to catch, it's not gonna be worth my time unless they are something like a unicorn. It's probably better off just to go catch a million yellow fish in a hurry. All right, I'm gonna start heading back towards um home. Whatever, I'll just take a few. Look how fast as those are. All right, I brought the fish. So that puts us back up to $150. So we'll maybe buy a new little piece of land, which gave us like a fish stock apparently. So I guess this guy just puts like residual earnings in. So if I do this, I'm going to catch a few of these an hour. He just sits here and fishes on my behalf. My empire begins. I don't even have to do anything now. I could just go drink coffee for the rest of the day and I'm going to be rich. But I like to pr uh, promote an active genocide. So I'm going to get all these fish and I'm not buying magnet power. Stop offering me that. Another full load. I think I'm going to increase my, um, fish container size. 24 isn't enough because that's only worth about $80. So cargo capacity one more time. Are there any more unicorns out here? There's something in there that's locked. Not seeing any unicorns so we're gonna catch yellow fish two at a time for a second. I'm gonna use this to get more fishing power and then we can get green fish. Eventually we'll find the rarer fish. The unicorn I suppose was pretty rare. We could do better. I think if I'm catching red fish I can literally like defish the entire ocean in half a second. But our new cargo capacity is worth quite a bit. We're gonna unload all of those. Another $112 to spend which means more fishing power and maybe a bigger fishing area. I think that really just means I can cast farther from the boat which is good because I can be lazy then about not being close to fish. The green fish still take a second and they're still very quick but we'll sit here and slowly reel them and know that I have them trapped. If there's one thing I know about fish it's that they're not very intelligent. Intelligent. And I chased the horde of fish over here, the school of fish. So now we're just going to slowly collect them as they drift to the left. And there's a full load of greenies, which naturally will be worth a fortune. $237. Maybe let's uh, give this guy a little upgrade. He's going to collect uh, one of these an hour now, uh, rather 7.5 of those an hour. And we're maybe going to buy another piece of land or two just to see what I didn't really mean to buy that one. But we got a bigger boat. I think we got a bigger boat. It said supports four fishermen, but I've only got two in there. But we'll just catch some quick yellow fish now that should give me the money to hopefully hire another fisherman. I guess I'm not really hiring them. I'm more like buying them because I don't think they're paid. Once they're on the boat, they're there for life. Uh, hello, guys. I would like to purchase one of your finest people if I may. Maybe I got to unlock this one. You guys get on my boat. I have access accidentally uh, went into a pool of redfish. Can I sell here? I sure can. Oh, a swordfish. What are you? Get on my boat. Okay, he's not that hard to catch. He's pretty quick though. So we'll just take some quick redfish to kind of top this up. Maybe a few greenfish on the way back. I mostly just want to sell the swordfish, which is bigger than my boat. That's got to be worth something. Here you go. We're at $94. Uh huh. And now uh, we're up to 220 So let's take more fishing power. 
Well, maybe get that times two. I'm tired of waiting and boat speed. So now these yellows should be yes, very quick to catch. We can load up yellows in no time at all. Even the greens now are getting quick. They're about where the yellows were before these upgrades. I'll take whatever's in here. Saved up another $250. I want more fishing power and maybe more fishing area. Okay, now we can reel the yellow ones in like instantly, so money is gonna get super quick now. The fish probably won't have time to repopulate, but that's a fish problem, not a future me problem. Another unicorn, get in the boat. God, a unicorn fish? Probably pretty rare. I would feel bad for selling it, but I don't. After unloading there, we're up to $390. I do kind of want to expand the docks. Then we can get one of these going. I was hoping one of these gentlemen would jump into my boat, but they're not that eager. That's fine. I know where to make more money. I just got to put more fish in my boat and then bring them home. Another $300 means more fishing power. Then more, uh capacity uh, fishing area. I just want to be able to catch your green ones instantly because they're really the money makers right now. They're not instant but they're getting pretty close. Especially when they're trapped against a wall. I have such a big fishing area now that I don't really need to be that close anymore. I just scoop them all up. And currently a full load of greens is worth about $200. Uh, the reds we shouldn't catch anymore but they're so quick it's kind of hard not to. You just kind of go through them and your boat's full. So let's buy a little more island. That came with, oh, we got a third guy on board. Now it's a three-man show, so we're going to catch even quicker. That's great. I should buy more island parts. But also maybe more cargo capacity and then boat speed. Watch how quickly we'll fill the boat up with yellows now. Just setting that one fisherman, though, added about a 50% faster cast rate, uh, as long as all fishermen are equal. With liberty and justice. So I can fill up with greens very fast. If I buy this, do I get a fourth fisherman in my boat? No, he's just standing there waving. I'm not here to make people happy, damn it. $400, so let's take fishing power. Those are getting expensive and more cargo capacity. A swordfish just showed up. Give me the swordfish. Get in the boat. I've got two wagons now. I'm a boat train. And everyone's going to get in the boat. I can hold 42 fish currently, and I'm reeling them in quick. I still would like one more fisherman, though, also. But this because that swordfish will be the most valuable load I've ever had. Uh, I forgot I also had the little trailer, though, too, so I accidentally filled that up with the yellows. Either way, that's going to be a lot of money. There's $400. So let's unlock this guy. Does that come with a man? Nope. That one's going to be $300. And we're already there. Give me this whatever. Still not another man for my boat. I'm just making their land bigger. Okay, we're finally going to get this piece that's been sitting here for a while. What is that? 450 for sh shrimp. Or 20 for shrimp? I don't know what that's telling me. I'm just going to go back to doing what I know. Murdering the ocean. Well, since you're just swimming around mocking me here, we're going to go ahead and take you for a boat ride. I should probably also stop ignoring this. This is only $100 and it's probably going to be beneficial. Come on, swordfish. We're going on an adventure. Orange fish. Okay, orange fish are super hard to catch. Let's uh, talk about these guys for a sec. They're even harder. We need more fishing power. Can we do anything about this? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, I see. We're netting in shrimps now. Okay, the shrimp net is clear. We're going to need more fishing power to be able to catch the orange ones. We might be able to do, but it's still going to take a minute. We need way more power. We can catch them. I just don't think it's really effective because it just takes too long. We'd be better off just catching lots of greens. But I bet this load of, I think, 18 orange fish and one uh, swordfish is going to be worth a lot. I forgot you got to sell the shrimp separately. So they go over here. I think they're $20 each. So that gave us $558. So let's get more fishing power and cargo capacity. Then we're probably still going to focus on green fish. They are getting pretty close to instant. Yellows are absolutely instant and red pretty much evaporate. Saved up another $618. Let's buy this little guy. Still won't put another fisherman in my boat. That's fine. I'll just keep doing what I do. The fishing area is so big now that I could be way far away from these fish. There's no escaping me. Upgrades are getting so expensive though. We're also going to make the uh, boat speed a little quicker. Because I'm spending a lot of time just cruising around in my boat. The one thing I would love is a faster unload speed. Because this goes pretty quick. But I've got to sit here and do this a lot. Another $500 earned means let's get one more fishing power and one more fishing area. I see another unicorn fish. And even he's getting reeled in pretty quickly at this point. So let's quickly unload all of this for the big bucks. Then we're going to go visit our friends the rare fish to see if we can have any chance. Yeah, we're getting pretty good with orange fish. These might be the way to go now. Still not super quick. We need more fishing power, but there are shrimps, so we'll catch some of those also. I'm not going to be satisfied until there's no fish left in this ocean at all. Okay, I got a load of, I don't know how many shrimps. There also doesn't seem to be a ton of orange fish, uh, probably because I caught most of them already. I really do want that extra fisherman though. That would add so much speed to this catch. That process is still too slow when I've had this much coffee. If it's not instant, it's not quick enough. So first we'll unload the oranges for obviously big bucks, but it took a while to catch them. Then the 12 shrimps, which I think is worth $240. That put us over a thousand dollars for the first time. I just realized how this place works. I need to stop buying physically pick up the fish. 
Uh, they're not finding me a lot, so I'm probably not going to upgrade their dock anymore. They don't deserve it. But I will take a $530 island piece. Yay, my fourth fisherman who got in the boat himself. So now it's going to be real like speed fishing. <laughs> More fishing power, you say? I think that's a great idea. We have exactly enough for power and capacity. Why does it swim like that? I feel like I'm doing it a favor by taking it out of the water. It's the most awkward fish I've ever seen in or out of the water. But the new fishing power means I can literally just cruise through a school of greens and pick them all up. Just that easy. Which is going to earn us quite a bit of money, especially with that unicorn involved also. Okay, let's take boat speed, which is max now in fishing area times two. So now we can pretty much fish the entire ocean right from our boat. We don't have to get anywhere near the fish. We're already full. Not that the yellows are worth a particular lot, but when we have this many, they do kind of add up. And I do like this boat speed. We don't have to waste any time anymore. We just swim through a school and they're all mine. And let's go visit the valuable fish. Yeah, we're still a little slow on these guys, but we are catching them. And I have four fishermen, so it's not too bad. I should probably actually properly explore this area too, because there's probably more to unlock. I've just been really caught up trying to catch the entire ocean so far. What about these guys? No, we're still nowhere close to catching those ones. So with this top up with our shrimp catch uh there's a swordfish marlin up here that might be more valuable because it might be considered like an orange one i'm not sure how it works and the boat's about full which definitely means it's profit time after giving my fish a fun little ride we're up to 1200 dollars and we haven't even sold this shrimp yet but that used to sound like a lot of money but now the next island part is going to be 600 dollars by itself so let's continue to buy an island for these people it's they're just dancing. They don't seem to require any further upgrades for their island though, which is interesting. I was just cruising around looking at stuff and I accidentally filled the boat like instantly. I'm too overpowered with fish. But then again, we could still do better. Let's go fishing power 14, cargo capacity one more. It's strange to think we're catching fish even quicker now. Like there's no way any of these can get away. Even the greens, which used to be very hard to catch, instant. I am a little bit curious about this dock now. So if we level it up for $300, you think that would be worth it for 300 then we'll maybe just upgrade these a few times. Then they'll catch me a few fish here and there. That might actually add up. I just kind of did the math in my head. And if I'm understanding that correctly, it doesn't add up. That's a waste of my time. I build these people their own private island and they waste my time with a dock like that. That and low get me back to about a thousand dollars. So let's maybe get more fishing power. And that means we might be able to collect collect the oranges still a little bit slow i just want an instant fortune is that too much to ask we can catch these ones it's just really slow so i'll catch a few what else am i gonna do with my time yeah after getting that school of monstrously valuable fish we're also gonna take the shrimps just because i can't have anything living left alive there's no witnesses when i'm involved that was definitely valuable though because there is back up to 700 dollars so let's take fishing power again and then cargo capacity and fishing area plus fishing power one more time again so we get two little trailers each able to hold 42 are these getting yeah these are getting quick now that's better now we're gonna start getting into what's called stupid money i do kind of wish i didn't have to sail all the way out here though just to collect these idiots how about you guys are we getting quick with you well a lot quicker than they were that's for sure we used to not be able to even make these things move don't worry guys we're going to take you to a nice little pond out in the woods where you're going to live a long fulfilled life there's an easy thousand dollars and i've got a derpy unicorn to go sell get in the boat i don't know if we can power up against them like you think we'd be catching us quicker than that with all of our fishing power currently speaking of fishing power that costs 850 dollars but i went ahead and gave everything yet another upgrade our fishing area is getting ridiculous like it's hard to actually even move around without hoovering up the entire ocean and that's the kind of productivity i like to see this won't be particularly valuable i just need to make room for more valuable fish so i imagine these are going to be pretty yeah the, the orange fish are almost instant now that's great how are you guys doing definitely not instant but getting better so i'll just take this horde of fish see what else is out here this will be instant watch it go and a few more spots so we can take an extra second for the blue fish i'm not even gonna waste my time on shrimps anymore i think they are more valuable i just can't be bothered these guys are really are worth a lot there is fifteen hundred dollars which should be enough for a few good upgrades well you can't just pop out of the blue and expect me not to catch you i just can't help myself the most tedious part of this now is absolutely just waiting for things to sell but we'll make the catching process a little quicker and also the capacity we'll do that twice uh really now i'm just the harvester of the oceans these guys should be a little bit quicker that was two power levels up they're quicker 
Still not instant, so we still got a ways to go. Upgrades are costing over $1,000 now. This is getting stupid. Okay, we have way more fishing power and also much more capacity. I know of three full-size life rafts that I can fill with stupid fish. Not that that's going to take a long time, provided I'm in this area. The problem is I run out of fish to catch. And I really can't be bothered catching uh, yellows and greens anymore. I just, it's not worth my time. Okay, oranges we know should be instant by now. These guys are going to be getting close. Yeah, those are almost instant now. That's where we want to be. All of you get in the boat. Yeah, I can. I can cruise through them full speed now and collect them all. But again, now we're basically out of fish. So then I need to do a few laps, not catching anything at all because there's no fish left. I literally mined them all. And I'm not, I, I'm above shrimps now. But we're going to need to catch blue fish just to be able to make enough money for more upgrades. They're getting so stupidly expensive. So fishing power is the only thing that isn't yet maxed. Until now, I honestly thought that would go to level 30. 28 is a weird number to land on, but I'll take it. So these guys are definitely instant, and I just said I wasn't going to catch these anymore because this is a waste of my time. So now that I've literally fished the ocean out of fish, I think I win. I've won fishing. 